welcome back. Episode 30, Pro Spartan Gamer on Don Bradman Cricket on the PlayStation 4. Three fifties and four innings in the one day stuff already this year for Spartan in season three. And look at that, getting attention from the English national side for one day international cricket. Expecting selection in the Australia 50 over cup as well. Getting attention from the IPL. Things are looking very, very good. We just got to keep it going. Keep on getting runs and starting the day with the game against Glamorgan in the Pro 40. It's at the Lancashire Stadium. It's not our Bradman Oval, which is slightly different. And we know Glamorgan have got a lot of dibble double bowlers and spin bowlers. Not the easiest to get away. It's not going to be such an easy knock, perhaps, here as at the Bradman Oval. But we're settled for 20 or 30 minimum. Like to get a start. Got to stop these stupid run outs that we had in episode 29 that haunted us. A couple real dog of a run outs when we thought there was a run and we couldn't get back. Get us in early. And we're not in early. They've probably used seven or eight of the overs. And he comes uh, already over a thousand runs. 650s, 100. 350s already this year. Waggish shag the bowler. Oh, we're not facing. And there is. The power play is over. That's bad news for Spartan. The 10 overs have been used and we've only mustered 46. When Spartan's in, we score at least 10 and over in the power play. Spartan's going to have a hard job to get runs today because of boundary. Well... Obviously, people not out everywhere yet, but they can put them out there as soon as you start hitting. That's a problem when when we're out of the power play. Do we finally get this face of ball? And the spin is on. There you are. One of the hardest things comes straight in and faces spin. Four runs, though. Spotted in fantastic form, don't forget. And he's cracked that through the covers. Emphatic cover drive for four. Gorgeous cricket shot. Off Costa. Look at this. Whack. In the bottom corner before the keeper dived. Cracking blow. Could be four more. It is. Two cracking cover drives to start then. Off the spin of Costa. Nicking off is the problem though. We know that. You only got to get one to bite and you've edged it behind and you're gone. Oh, how the hell has he caught that? That is one of those moments where you just can't believe it's got caught on his clothes or something. That is... I can't believe he's caught that. Full toss. We absolutely creamed it straight at Hogan and somehow he's hanging on to it. That is a ridiculous catch. We'll just have to see this on the replay. I don't know how the hell he's caught it. He's absolutely creamed it. How has he caught that? That is just one of the unluckiest things out there. And we've gone for eight. And there's not a lot you can do about it. Oh, a real unlucky dismissal. Feels dirty to the core, that does. Really does. More runs for Trustoffic at the top of the order. He can't stop scoring runs in this one day stuff. Don't know whether we're going to do enough to win. Morgan's struggling, but then they get a partnership. So Somerset win. Poor poor, poor effort for, for Spartan in that one, but didn't get any luck at all. And Trustoffic with a big 132. As we win and we've won three and lost two now. Feel a bit choked with that one, must admit. It's not going to help our selection credentials. But hopefully they look at it and think, well, that's a one-in-a-lifetime catch. There's nothing anybody's going to do about that, surely. Hampshire in the Pro 40 then is up. Lancashire Stadium again. That's where we just played Glamorgan, I think. They're full of, they've got a few spinners as well. Carberry rolls his arm over Dawson. And they have got Abbott, Tomlinson, Briggs is the other one who bowls as well. Let's get us in early. That was a difference. We had to come in against those spinners. We were playing them very nicely, to be fair, though. We didn't deserve the luck we had there, that's for sure. Somerset are batting first. Get me in early. No, they've batted 15, 16 overs this time. So we're in. Oh, 
off the mark of a single. 14 overs gone already. This is not going to be easy. Nice shot straight. Another single. It's coming in a totally different environment here for Spartan. Real test. Good shot for one. There's lots of people out on the boundary. And there's not many gaps here. It's going to be lots of singles to try and build on innings here. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be the explosive spot and we like seeing. Managed to club that. He's going to turn and go for two. It's good running. Real slow dobber from James Vince. Hard to get out of the get anything off it to be honest tickled that one away for another single moves on to six but it's not easy last three dismissals in this competition have all been a bit unlucky two dodgy run outs and that ridiculous caught in its silly point And this ain't going to be easy to score runs today. Six off six so far. No boundaries. Going sedately along here. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, come on. Eight all in. Well... Six singles and a two, I think, is what he's got his eight in so far. No tough score out there at the moment. Tight bowling from Hampshire. Tomlinson on. Now, is there any gaps in the field anywhere? Not really. Worked it away for a single. Better timing, though. Good shot, but still only one. Double figures, and it's probably one of the hardest tens he's had for a long, long time. No boundary jet for Spartan. It's unusual when he faced 10 balls in this and another spinner on. Can't get away from the spinners. There's another single. Another single. Can't say they're not rotating the strike here, that's for sure. That's about all they are doing. Can we get some bigger runs? That's what we need here. It's not getting hold of them at the moment. 13 off 16. Very unspotting like not. That's four this time though, his first boundary of the game, he's nuked that one. Big gap, square, and through mid-wicket, he saw it there and he was hoping he was going to get the ball to hit there. Wasn't quite there, but he didn't have time yet. Gorgeous shot, fielder didn't have far to move, but it was four and past him. Dug a lot into the pitch, we haven't been able to break through the fielders in this over. Clipped it away, it's only going to be one. Move on to 18. Really hard for 18. Showing some good patience here to still be in, to be honest. Got that through the gap for four. Trying to look at areas where he can score runs at the moment. And he squirted that away very fine for four. And that's a good cricket shot. Not a lot of areas to score at the moment. Trying to find some different shots. And he's got that very fine. And that is four more. Good stuff. Never single. On the 24, off 24. This is a very good knock. Very different knock from what you've seen from him before. 
no doubt. I hope you're enjoying the differences in the game that you can get depending on when you bat and the bowlers that are bowling. So Cole's on now, another different bowler. Big gap, square. Really pushing to here. Good run in. A few runs just starting to come now. Punch through the gap again. I don't think he's quite got it. Definitely be two. Moves on to 28. Good knock this. Been as good as a 50 really. Partnerships a 50. Good running for another single. Runs just starting to come a little bit for some of that. They've just broken the shackles a little bit here. That's a nice shot. Two more. Just finding the gaps in the field a little bit. The ones have become two over the last few, few overs. To open the face there to try and get a run. We couldn't get it past those two players there. We didn't get money off that over. Good bowling from Dawson. Facing Coles again. Pinged it away just for one. Oh, we nicked off. Such a dibble-dobble. We couldn't hit it straight. We're getting frustrated. We've been out there 37 balls and we've finally gone. And there's a nothing dismissal, really. A real dillop dollop Nicked off to the keeper. Trying to hit him straight. Should have left it. We've had a couple failed attempts and usually when you miss it twice, the confidence is down and we should have gone back to just basic cricket shots. But we can take some... Credit for that 33 really because we had to work hard for it. Awful lot of singles. And it was a it was a good effort. We didn't give up on it earlier, which we could have done. Let's see how Somerset get on. Hildreth scoring some runs. I don't think Somerset's gonna have got enough. Not the way Amateurs started. Adam scoring runs. They're losing wickets though, but getting. Somerset have won. So it was a tough old track for scoring runs, obviously. Now you see Adams with his 90s one man of the match, but Somerset have won by 35 runs. That was a useful 33 from Spartan then in the context of the game. No one really scored runs at any lick. Hopefully that won't do him any harm. Two poor scores and eight and a 33. In this episode 30. Let's have a look at his statistics and everything before we leave you. In the competition and that Pro 40 Somerset top of the table. We've not been up there before. That's very good news. Spot and he's still up there. He's managed 278 runs. He's still averaging 46.33 this season and that which is decent. Trestoffic scored a massive 500 now which is very good. Hildreth also 245, but a good, good season so far in the one day stuff for Spartan, as you can see. That is very encouraging indeed. And Somerset has a team doing well in it, which is nice as well. Selection status still getting attention. Expecting selection still in the 50 over stuff from Australia, but getting attention in the ODI. We need that to turn, and we want the getting attention in the IPL to turn as well. Hopefully when the T20 kicks in, we will have some fun in the sun in that. Let's say his stats are looking decent. Now you saw it averaging 36.87 career-wise. Played 30 matches now in the Pro 40. Obviously not played at all. Only a couple games in the first class. Still averaging under 20 in there. We will concentrate on that at some point. But not at the moment. We just want to concentrate on getting him 
up into the next echelons of cricket, playing in India, playing in Australia, and maybe even for England in the one-day stuff. And then when he gets 2021, we can start concentrating on the longer format of the game. That's my plan, anyway, with this career. That's the way we're setting it out at the moment. Obviously, he's not played any of this stuff yet, but hopefully soon he will. Okay, thanks for joining me, as always. We will be back for more One Day Stuff and Mr. P. Spartan very, very soon um, in episode 31. Cheers, dudes. Stay safe.